Fiaci WL25 flashlight, weapon light. These things are great. I'll show you an alternate way that I uh, mount these. Let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, so just a quick disclaimer, guys. I got this for free. Uh, I have the charger and an extra battery setting off the side, but uh, this is what it comes with. Your owner's manual. It's a 1200 lumen. You guys do get a pressure switch or a tape switch here. It does mount to the back, two different end caps. And uh, here's some quick warranty information. If you guys need, read that real quick on camera. Boom, done. Hopefully you guys can read it upside down. Like I said, 1200 lumen flashlight. So it's very, very bright. It does have a strobing capability and has a temp it has a on and a momentary on. So we'll go, go over a little bit more of that a little bit later. As I said, I've already opened it up, but I'm kind of going through what you guys get. You guys get two of these batteries. One's on the charger. One's actually charging right over here off screen. You get your charging cable. You get a Velcro strap. You get some tools, some screws. We'll go over these a little bit later because this is an alternate way we're going to mount this. You get your tape switch or your pressure switch. You're on off. This is constant on. This is momentary. We'll go over that. And here is the flashlight. It does mount to a rail. I'm going to show an alternate way to mount it because I like to mount it to an M lock. And I will show you how I mount it to an M lock. Your on off switch is back here. Battery goes in the back just like so and you guys can see hopefully I didn't give anybody a seizure and there's your strobe it says hot I've never left mine on long enough to see if it's been hot so uh, I've never tested how hot that gets but I'm sure it gets pretty warm so show you a few ways to mount this and i'm going to show you the way i mount it all right so as you guys can see i got a rail mounted here i got a lot of m lock space uh what you would do is just loosen this up put it here uh i will not going to do this because this is not how i'm going to mount mine or even close but this is get off the side or whatever uh, some people don't mind using the cell switch back here there you go um to be able to use the the tape switch, I would remove it from the rail. And this is kind of the cruddy thing is you're gonna have to remove this every time you need to remove the battery. So I definitely make sure your battery's charged the first time because as you can see, I have to do this, put that off to the side. And we have to do this. And we need to spin the flashlight instead of the tape switch. Okay. Now it mounts right back to the rail. Just like yay. And then scoot this back a little bit. There's your on. Here's your momentary. As you guys can see. And if you had another rail, you could mount this to the rail, something like that. They gave you the Velcro strapping to tie up your, your extra cable. So it's very nice, very thoughtful of them. Now I'm going to show you quick little thing of how I mount mine. Uh, what I do is I take this off. This is very cool because right about here in the pressure switch or in the tape switch, this comes apart. This comes off of this rail mount here. As you guys can see, there's screws right there. You can mount this to an M lock. I prefer to have it that way. That way it sits nice and low. It's not quite so high. I do have it the other way and I'll show some video of that here a little bit later on another rifle because I have a rifle that has a full length rail on top. So, uh, this is the way I prefer, and this is the way I'm going to run it on this gun here. If you guys go on Amazon, you guys are going to find these 45 degree angled uh, mounts. I like these. Uh, on the bottom of these flashlights, you guys can see some screw holes. I don't know if you guys saw them. I see those screw holes there. They line up perfectly with these, as you guys can see. Very nice. So I can mount this and adjust it wherever I want. I already have it on my other gun. So there it is, that's what it looks like after it's all mounted. Uh, I ran the cords around it, as you guys can see, it's nice and tight, up out of the way, brings it back up and around, and my pressure switch is right here on the top. As you guys can see, this is the railed one I told you about. I'm gonna show you how I mount this one to my M-Lock instead. 
All right, so just to get this off, it's as simple as just taking this off like that. Oh, you guys saw that I lit that up. Not a big deal. Take this out. I use these screws, or I just reuse these screws. Um, some of the screws they came with, you guys can see that uh, they have M-Lock and they have key mod, or key, yeah, key mod uh, adapters for them, and they have extra screws. Uh, these screws seem to work just fine for me. So there's the adapter, like I said. So we're going to take this off as well. There's what it looks like. I actually got it all apart. As I said, you guys can see these screw holes here. We've got this mounted into here. We've Loctited it. I ran the uh, cord through here just kind of to uh, get it up out of the way. So that's what I'm going to do with it for now. I uh, may, may have screwed myself or may do something different. But that's what we're going to do with it for now. Then what we're going to do is those screws that we took out earlier that are right here. It's part of the pack package that comes or comes in the package are M-lock screws and tapers screws if you need or key mod screws if you need. We're going to use the M-lock screws or M-lock wings you guys see right there. I'm just going to use these screws that came or were already mounted on here because they work just fine. Boom, just like that. And now we're ready to go. Probably right there. And I just added Loctite to all these screws, so they're going to need to set for a little bit, but give you guys kind of a general idea. All right, so just like that. We have our tape switch and our flashlight. Boom, boom. Feels very nice. It's right there at my grip. Both sides. So I could rerun this wire however I want, but the reason I did it this way is to get it all up out of my way. Um, I don't intend on using this rail for anything. It was more of a demonstration to show you guys that uh, I could run run this this way. Off camera, I'm actually gonna rerun this, so this is all gonna come back off. I prefer my my uh, tape switch to come up from right here like this instead of back up and around this way. It just seems a little funky to me. So, uh, but this is kind of how I would mount it. This is how I can mount it. You guys can see you guys can mount it on an M-Lock. Uh, if you guys use those 45s, it gets it up out of the way more, more up here with everything else and uh, out of the way of your hand. If you're reaching around like this, you're not reaching over or hitting it or having it in your way. If I go left-handed, it's right there up out of my way as well. So very cool. All right, so if you like what you guys, if you like what you watch, give me a like, subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social medias. And thanks for shooting the brief with you guys. We'll see you next time.